In this tutorial series, we'll model a realistic 3D head model from scratch using a real reference image. We'll start off by modeling the eye sockets, adding the nose, the mouth, refining the face details, and finally adding the ears. So by the end of this tutorial series, we'll have a complete head model ready for your portfolio. So let's dive right in. So we got the reference images placed, so now it's time to create our character. And I'd like to model first the eyes. I'd like to create this eye edge first, and then we're going to extrude it to cover the entire eye socket. First, what to do, I'd like to change the cursor position from the center of the world view to the position where we want to spawn new objects, which is here. So we can press shift and right click. So now we got the cursor right here. But also we have to check or to fix the position of the 3D cursor on the side or on the right orthographic. So as you can see, it's far away from the eye. It needs to be here. So we can press N to access the transform. And here inside the view, if you scroll down, you're going to be seeing this tab, the 3D cursor. So we want to move it on the Y axis, which is the green, the green axis, the Y. So you can just move it like this. But as you can see, moving it like this is too fast. We can press shift to go slow. So something like this is going to be perfectly on the right spot. There we go. So now that we got that, I'd like to start with a simple vertex. So we can do shift A, let's go to mesh and we can start with the plane. So this plane here, all I need from it is one single vertex. So we can switch to the edit mode. So we are actually on the object mode. We can switch to the edit mode. And next what we can do, we can switch to the vertex mode and we can select all the vertices. We can press M and merge them at the center. So the center is the 3D cursor. So now we end up with only one single vertex at the center. So there is a lot of ways to do it. For example, let me just revert back by pressing Ctrl Z. You can, for example, select these three, press X, delete them, and select this vertex, press Shift S, and we can move it, the selection to cursor. We can use this button. So this way we're gonna be moving that vertex from here to the center of the cursor. All right, so let's carry on. So from here, what I'd like to do, I'd like to start the extrusion process. So we need to be on the edit mode to be able to edit our vertex here. So you can press E and start the extrusion process around the eye edge. So here at the top, I'd like to create seven extrusions at the top. So this is the first, we can press E again. Second, also I'd like to do the extrusion here in this panel. We can press one to be facing the front. And let me just zoom in here. So this is the second extrusion, the third, and we can continue until we extrude it seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we need to do some corrections. For example, here we can take this vertex, press G to grab it backward. And like this, make some room. So it's good to have some even distance between each two vertices. And finally, we can add the last extrusion here. And for the barb, I want you to extrude five times. So this is my own setup. One, two, three, four, and five. So here, obviously, we have to give them more distance. Like this. And finally, we have to bridge between these two vertices to have a loop. So we can select them both and we can press F to fill between. So now we got that edge. All right, so there we go. So we got the eye edge. So in the next camera lecture, I'm going to be using the proportional editing tool to adjust it on the right. Because here at the right, in the right, it's completely flat. It should not be like this. Let me just... So first, I'd like to select this point here and we need to drag it down here. But if you notice, this part here is sharp. So first, let me just enable the proportion editing tool. You can just scroll up here to refine it. And the type needs to be sharp. All right, so let me take this vertex and we can drag it on the wax back. But we have to scroll down. Should not be having a big circle of influence. Something like this. We can do the same thing to the other vertex, this vertex right here. So I'm going to just drag it backward. You can scroll up. Something like that. For the bottom here, so we want to push the bottom inside this bottom. But if we do it this way, we can be affecting the top. 
don't want to affect the top the top is almost in the same position we can just move it a little bit forward like this so if you want to affect only the bottom you can check the connected only here in the proportion editing, editing settings if you check it it won't going to be affecting the top so let me just take the bottom a little bit to the right like this and basically we got it so we got the eye shape so we deform it using the proportion editing tool and now it, it's perfect we can add the subdivision modifier so here on the modifiers let's add the subdivision surface modifier we can increase that to 2, the level viewport to 2. So now we end up with a nice and perfect edge line for the eye. So after we created the eye edge, so the next step is going to be to extrude it out to cover this part of the eye. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the edit mode, we can press tab to switch the edit mode. I'd actually press A to select all the vertices and we can press E to extrude it. E, like this. And after that, I would like to press S so that we can scale it up just a bit out like this and after that we need to scale it on the z axis so we can try s and z and we can go up but we should not be using the proportion editing tool so let me just cancel this you can go to this proportion editing tool and you can just click on it to disable it all right so now we can press s and z so we can scale it up like this so now we did match the same eye edge that we got in our reference image all we have to do is to align these vertices so we can select them and press G to move them like this same thing here for the bottom and just take these vertices down okay here on the side so a little bit to the right and let's continue like this with this alignment there we go this one too nice so here in the user perspective so we have a problem here. So you can see that this part here looks empty. So if we go to the other side, it's going to be full. So the problem that we got here is that this part here is flipped. The face direction or the face normals are flipped. So what you need to do, you can press A to select all the vertices. And I want you to press Shift and N. So this way you can be recalculating the normals and flipping them. So now we don't have that problem anymore. Also, I don't want to use that x-ray toggle so let me just uncheck it so that we can see our geometry even better so next step is going to be to create an edge so let me select my mesh here on the edit mode we can press alt and left click to select only the inner edge and we can try e y and go inside just a bit like this so now we created that frame all right so let's continue the alignment so we align it for the front but for the side we have to push this part backward so let me select the bottom vertices and we can push them back like this let me check the top same thing here for the top we can select these vertices and let's push them backward like this but for this edge here or for this frame it needs to be sharp this frame here so what we can do let me select it we can press alt and left click to grab this edge also if you want to see the geometry even better because as you can see for example this vertex here is hidden so what we can do we can check this on cage on the subdivision modifier you can see the difference so now we can see the vertices even better so with this edge selected let me just take this one a little bit here to the right we can press n to access this panel here and i'd like to jump to the item and on the bottom we have the mean crease so the mean crease is going to make this edge even sharp or smooth. Let me show you. Let me just scroll up. You can see this also. We have a problem here with the clipping. So if you want to fix it, you can jump to the view and you can reduce the clipping value, this start clip. Let me just reduce it to 0 0.01. 001. All right, so let's go back to the item. So inside the mean crease, we can just increase the value up. So now we're going to be making that edge sharp. I think 0.5 is going to be great. Something like that. Also here for the inner side, we can drag these vertices a little bit up. Something like that looks fine. And also here, I'd like to fill this gap. So on the edit mode, we can select these three vertices and we can press F to fill that gap. So now to resemble to a real eye. Here for the side, so I'd like to push this part a little bit backward 
So this is vertex, we can push it a bit backward like this. On the other side here, we can take this part and push it inward. Or actually not inward, outside. Like this. We can also try to reduce the sharpness here. We should not be having a sharp edge. Let me just press N and we can decrease the mean crease here down to zero. We need to have a smooth end here. And there we have it. So this is the first step for creating the eye sockets. If you had fun and if you'd like to learn more about character creation, then you might like the full character creation course over at Udemy that covers character modeling and texturing from scratch, rigging and animation, then exporting our character to Unreal Engine and Unity to build a game with our character and play it on both PC and Android mobile phones. Plus, if you didn't like the course, there is a 3 days money back guarantee. The link is down below in the description. So let's continue creating our eye socket. I'd like to bring back my orthographic views to right and front. And let's keep an eye on it. So here at the top, we actually can start from the side. So here for the side, we can do this. Let me just draw this. So this part here, we have to push it backward like this. And this part here, if you want to extrude it, we need to push it outside. This one needs to go back. This one needs to go to forward. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'd like to select these three vertices and we can try EY and we can push them a little bit back. Here for the front, we can push them a little bit to the side. And also I'd like to scale them up. We can press S and scale them up like this. Push a little bit back. Also for this vertex, we can push it a little bit backward here. All right, so there we go. So we got that part. So on the other side here, I want you to select these three or even four vertices and you can try EY and go forward. And also we need to go a little bit to the left. We can try to scale them up. So we can try S, Z, scale on the Z axis like this. Okay, also we can push it a little bit to the left. There we go. So here for the side, push backward here and here we need to push forward. Now for the bottom. So for the bottom, I'd like to select these three vertices and we can extrude them down like this and we can push them on the side. We can push them a little bit forward. Let's scale them up like this. And after that, we can just fill these gaps. So let me just select these four vertices and we can press F to fill them. Same thing here. We can press F to fill these gaps and we can kindly smooth smooth out this part here. Let me just check it from the front. It's good to keep it, keep a nice curvature here. Same thing on the left side, let's prepare for the nose. So let's keep that part intact for the nose. So now for the top. So for the top, I would like to select these four vertices and we can extrude them forward. So you can try EY, go like this. We can try S to scale them up, drag a little bit up like this. And I'd like to select these two and push them up, even up like this to follow this edge. But there is only to reach the top because we're going to be extruding it once again for this part. So let me just drag it a little bit to the middle here. And after that, let me just fill these gaps. We can just press F to fill these gaps like this. There we go. Here I like to drag this part a little bit down. And there we have it. This part here can be pushed a little bit to the right. Alright, so we are on the right track. So also I'd like to sharpen out. Make this part a little bit sharp. So you can press Alt and left click to select this edge. Press N, jump to the item, and we can increase the mean crease up to something like 0.5. Let's take a look at it. There we go. So we defined that AI edge even better. We can select it to right click and shade smooth. All right, so let's continue. I'd like to extrude once again. So here we can press Alt and let me try E, S to scale up like this. And let's continue the alignment. So here for the bottom, we can simply drag these down, push them a little bit forward here. Same thing for this part. 
there we go for the nose section i would like to trim this part so we can just push it a little bit to the right select this part a little bit to the right like this there we go here for the top i'd like to take these vertices up just like that let me just take it even further up here and as a final step we need to add the mirror modifier so that we can see it duplicated on the other side so what we can do we can select our mesh here and let's add a new modifier it's gonna be the mirror the mirror modifier but we need to put it in the right place so i'd like to do i'd like to put the cursor at the center so you can press shift and let me just zoom in to the middle so this is the middle you can do shift and right click this is the middle of our reference image so now i'd like to change the center of origin of our object here to the 3d cursor so with it selected you can jump to object set origin to the 3d cursor so now we got it here so all you have to do is to add the nose so on the edit mode we can select the top vertex press ctrl here till we reach this level and let's try e we can extrude it we can push it first like this and we can try e x like this we can go to the left but in this area i'd like to stop right at the middle i don't want to go beyond the center point so what we can do we can check the clip in in the mirror modifier so right now we're going to stop right at the middle same here at the top so we cannot do that because we're using the subdivision so what we can do we can drag the mirror at the top let me just put the mirror first then apply the subdivision there we go so now we have to fix the nose so this part here we need to push it way out like this let's fix the nose section all right so let's continue so here for the top push this part out continue like this there we go the nose looks a little bit big so what we can do we can select this part and push it a little bit to the left if you'd like to learn more about character creation then you might like the full character creation course over at udemy that covers character modeling and texturing from scratch rigging and animation then exporting our character to unreal engine and unity to build a game with our character and play it on both pc and android mobile phones plus if you didn't like the course there is a three days money back guarantee the link is down below in the description and basically we got it now the nose looks a little bit smooth we can push this part even back just like that let me check the side here so the side looks fine as well as the front so now we got the eye sockets so we're going to continue with the nose in the next camera lecture